Hey what's up guys it's Rich and welcome to another video today it's going to be another Call of Duty Ghost one of course and I'm using my class loadout that I did in my video earlier today I guess you could say and it's the AK-12 with the silencer and extending mags the best submachine gun that's not really a submachine gun in the entire game that's kind of how I've been describing this gun to other players that I've met uh, not really met but like you know my friends and stuff if they need a new weapon to use I'm like try the AK-12 with the silencer and extending mags even though it's an assault rifle it's probably the best submachine gun in the game and it has long range capabilities and I kind of wanted to get a gameplay with it, like a good gameplay because obviously I made the class loadout video uh, but I half kept on using it because it's just incredible so this gameplay it is extremely slow let me say that the maps on this game I know everyone keeps saying it but they are not designed for 6v6 whatsoever it can be a little boring at times especially when one or two people leave uh, so I've cut out the most boring parts it's around four minutes to get it and uh, that's with parts cut out so it was like five and a five minutes and 15 seconds or whatever uh, to get this and I don't just see in this building whatever uh, what I actually do is go over to the A flag because that's at the time uh, a little bit later on in the video I see this they only have the A flag, so I'm like, okay, where are the enemies going to be? In other Call of Duties, the answer would be the A flag. So I went over there, I sat in the building in their spawn, I was hoping they were all going to spawn around me, and I could go on a little streak like I've been trying to play this game, uh, trying to get some, you know, really quick streaks and whatnot. And they just weren't spawning around me very much, and it was it was very slow, and I didn't know how to fix it because I didn't know where to run. I had no idea where they were spawning, and I just thought to myself, if they're not spawning on their own flag, I have no idea where they're going to be. So I kind of sit there for a bit. So, um... I guess the only reason I'm uploading this KEM is because it's my first one, it's taken me a while to get and hopefully after I've, you know, as soon as I've got this one I'll be able to go on and get more and more because the same thing happened with the double MOAB in Modern Warfare 3, you know, I would uh, die to the most random things, I'd die to a claymore, I'd die to a guy lay down in a corner, everything you can think of, all the bull crap in that game that everyone dies to, I would die to when I was close to the, the double moab and as soon as I got that double moab everything changed, I started getting them fairly frequently and uh, it was a little bit easier so I'm hoping it's the same thing with this KEM strike and uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect because I don't I haven't really watched anyone else's KEM strikes and I wasn't expecting it to pop up on the screen because Mike said that he's actually lost two of his KEM strikes because they didn't pop up or you know he didn't see them pop up so I wasn't sure what I was going to expect when I got it but it's just like a moab pretty much it comes up you know 24 kill streak whatever KEM strike and it comes up and then it, it blows people up pretty much it is the moab of course and uh, it, it's pretty cool so uh, hopefully you enjoy this this map is not that good and for some reason I, I play it like once every three games and I have no idea why it keeps popping up I would love to play striped zone domination some more I think I've on honestly only played it w uh, once in the 100 domination games I've played and I have no idea why I'm not playing it even more uh, especially when there's maps like siege that always come up uh, Stonehaven this map and uh, I don't know why these maps come up so often and then Strike Zone hardly ever comes up because I played it for the first time earlier on uh, Strike Zone Domination that is and Mike got 92 kills with Assault and I got 76 with Specialist and it was a load of fun I was rushing people I was on like a 15 gun streak and then I died unfortunately and then I got an incredible streak that was much more entertaining in this gameplay and I died to some random kid that was laid down near the most random block in the middle of the map after he got KEM'd and I had no idea why he was there but um, those those kinds of things happen so anyway hopefully you enjoy this gameplay I am still using the Specialist and Mike has been using Assault and dropping KEM's I'm honestly not even sure which one is better Mike said that I should try out Assault uh, because with the Sentry Gun and the IMS it kind of covers your back so you don't have to worry about them uh, you know like spawning behind you or if they do spawn behind you your Sentry Gun or IMS will alert you to it and you can turn around and kill them I've just been going for the approach of trying to have loads of different perks and uh, hoping one of them helps me in that situation like for example Amplify which is like Sitrep Pro for Modern Warfare 3 I've just been trying to sit in their spawn with Amplify as you can see at the moment I'm right near their only flag and I was expecting them all to be spawning here and I'm like where where are they where do I run to find enemies to kill and thankfully I managed to kill this one who nearly killed me and I get the KEM strike so that's my first one it was probably the slowest one I'll ever get uh, just because of the 6v6 and it was on this map and I couldn't find anyone but hopefully you still enjoyed it and if you did I would really appreciate a like rating I will be sure to bring you guys some more Call of Duty Ghost content over the next few days and hopefully you are going to enjoy uh, most if not all of the vid uh, videos that I make so thanks for watching I'll speak to you all tomorrow bye